What's good YouTube? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. Guys, we have to break this video down. I've done this in the past, but I'm going to do it again because I really think that a lot of women out here are just doing too much on the tube. They're not really getting straight to the reason why they're single, but they're explaining their whole lives on YouTube. And it's just, it's, it's almost like a charity case to do this work, but we have to do this work. So, Without further ado, we're going to get into the video. So guys, today we are going to be breaking down another um, Zoggy to Gemini uh, YouTube video. Um, I've done one of these before. And Shorty is straight delusional. It's, it's crazy because she is a plus size woman, but she thinks she's supposed to be having a high value man. That is the reality of the situation. Let's break it down. We all know that they say that big girls shouldn't have no standards. We should, we should just accept any type, oh, any type of dick and Harry, job or household. Even the kind that doesn't cream his skin. Even the kind that doesn't wash his bum. Even the one that doesn't use deodorant. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zogi and I'm a Gemini, which is why this channel is called Zogi the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. So, okay, so first off, obviously, she identifies with the zodiac signs, which you can pretty much believe in whatever you want to believe, but they they are meaningless okay they don't mean anything your zodiac sign does not mean anything maybe sometimes when you read it it aligns with what you got going on in your life it's just like a fortune fortune cookie most of the time they are vague to create personality types they're not there to describe what you're going to be if you're born in this month it, it they they create personality so people start reading into um their zodiac signs and the astrology and all this stuff and then they form their personality around those things so gemini's are are you know girls or boys who they say they have split personalities they say they're very emotional they're this way then that way so she identifies with that because she has been reading up on her zodiac sign and she says she was a gemini 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 okay today we are going to be speaking about the differences when it comes to dating as a plus size woman and when it comes to dating as a straight sized woman so you're normal a straight sized woman what is that what they calling bad bitches nowadays <laughs> what the hell a straight size what well, i mean look all the fat women I'm dropping my workout program, okay? I'm dropping the workout program, Reclaim Your Throne. It's a 30-day workout program. If you cop that, I guarantee you're going to lose weight. Now, with this, um, <clears throat> she is getting a certain type of man, and, I, and she's going to explain it. But I want you to know that she is only qualified for a certain type of man in real life, okay? Size, how, whatever English you want to use. And it's a topic that I've never thought of too much until recently when I actually tried to measure out the differences in my head. And I thought, let me bring this to you guys and see what you guys think. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Now, let's get into the video. So, you know throughout my dating life i haven't had like a very rampant dating life that's cap 
She hasn't had a very rampant dating life. She's all, I've already broken down one of her videos where she talks about being on dating apps and all women who are on dating apps are having a, a, a rampant dating life. The thing is, she's saying that nobody has committed to her. That's what she really means because most men are not going to commit to fat women, okay? And that's the bottom line. They might smash you, they might take you down because men are, they're fucking gross, okay? We're, <laughs> we're gonna be raw on this one because this is long form, so I gotta get everything out. I can't censor myself, yo. Like, men are disgusting, so they're gonna wanna try everything. A big, a big bitch, a small bitch, a, a midget bitch. Like, they gonna try everything, okay? So she is getting smashed. Don't let her, you know, don't get it fucked up. She's getting smashed, okay? And, and dudes are taking her down because they pretty much have no physical standard on what they'll sleep with. Now, they won't be caught outside. They won't be caught dead outside with her. And that's why she says she hasn't had a rampant dating life because nobody's really taking her outside. Like, she, every time she goes outside, she has to be with her girlfriends or alone. I've always had the experience of plus size dating. Do you know what I mean? So I don't really know how dating is. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how normal dating is. I know that. You you know how you would learn how normal dating is. And I say this with love and endearment. Lose weight. Lose weight, baby, and see how your options just open up. See how the horizons just rise okay because if you want a normal experience in dating for most women most in shape women are getting hella attention online on social media and she's built up a youtube following so that's how she's getting her fix of attention but it's only women in the comments section who are saying oh you go girl this and the third which is fine you build an audience base you're making a bag whatever but we're gonna go to the comment section because nobody is really telling her the truth. And that's the problem with women. They don't tell each other the truth. They enable them to continue a toxic lifestyle because whatever these women wanna say about men being toxic, the most, to the most toxic thing that you can do is not take care of your health. Plus size dating, people have told me that it differs from normal size dating. And I guess that makes sense because of how society treats fatter people basically basically we all know that they say that big girls shouldn't have no standards which we, sh we should just accept any time oh no nobody nobody says big girls shouldn't have a standard what we say is you box in your weight class so you deserve a nigga who look like biggie smalls who takes care of himself that's what you deserve straight up like you're not going to get a guy with a six-pack respectfully that you're not paying look at lizzo the only reason she can fuck guys with a six-pack is because she's paying any type of dick and Ari, any type of guy like job or household happiness or love or any type even the kind that doesn't cream his skin even the kind that doesn't wash his bum so she's telling you the type of men that she's dealt with. Men who don't clean their skin. Men who don't wipe their behind. She's telling you. These are the men that she's dealt with. And, you know, she's getting bad results because of the weight, honestly. Like, literally. Looks like she needs to lose about 200. And if she really dedicated... As much time as she's putting into her YouTube channel, she could do it. Honestly, anybody can lose that weight. Even the guy that doesn't cream his leg. Even the kind that don't cream his face. Even the one that doesn't use deodorant. They say, oh, if you're fat, you must just accept him. Because, you know, you know, you should just be lucky that anyone pays you any attention. But, yeah, so, I've always been kind of, like, pushed that narrative. But I don't really know how it is when it comes to just like normal size girls and obviously i have friends that are not plus size um but when it comes to their experience i don't really think of it as plus size versus them i just think of like if i have a friend called sarah i just think oh yeah sarah's do you get what i mean like sarah's dating experience i don't really think oh because sarah's a size 12 and she's light skin duh, 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 duh. but 
Um, yeah, that's how you need to be thinking. If she's a bad bitch, hey, the, war, the, uh, the world is her oyster. And all she has to do is pick safe men. That's really all she has to do. As a baddie, you just got to pick somebody who's really going to protect you. Straight up. Um, <laughs> so, yes, you, your dating experience is going to absolutely be different, okay? And, and that's the reality of the situation. Men have to live in their reality. My dating experience at 5'8 is going to be different than a man's dating experience who's at 6'8. It's going to be different. Doesn't mean that I can't do well. I can, you know, alter things that will help me in other ways and be attractive, like work on my traps, you know what I'm saying? Um, and be a freaking unit, okay? And that really helps. And it works for men because most women really aren't that tall anyway so once you really get up on them and they looking at your physique they gonna let you you know do what it do and it's it's honestly it's easier to get a woman to fall in love with you after you've clapped the cheeks um than for a woman to get a man to fall in love with um him or her after he claps the cheeks because I, dudes Honestly, a guy who's who's smashing a chick like this respectfully, like after you do something like that and you're a decent looking guy, because I'm sure she's been able to pull some or have intercourse with guys who are attractive, right? Because like I said, men are nasty, so they'll hit anything. But after that act, it's almost like you, you're jerking off. You know what I'm saying? Because like after you jerk off, like you feel like shit, you're like, you know what I'm saying? You feel like you're, you know, uh, disgusting, okay? And that's what it's supposed to make you feel like. That's why you shouldn't be fapping. But, you know, after you smash a big chick, it also makes you feel disgusting, okay? In my lifetime, I will admit, okay? Back then in high school, we was doing whatever, okay? So, we, you know, I came across a couple, a couple of them, okay? Only two <laughs> or maybe three. Or six? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll just get it. But uh, <laughs> sometimes you'll hit a bigger and you will feel bad after hitting her. And that's why she's not able to make men of quality fall in love with her. I do find it interesting, yeah, that when it comes to plus five dating, it's kind of like grouped as one. But when it comes to normal dating, obviously like a dark skinned girl has different experiences with a lighter skinned girl and a shorter girl has a different experience with a taller girl. Yeah, I mean, she's right. Absolutely. She's putting the pieces together. Okay, we like it. We're here for it. Do you get me? There's that dull variances, which I've never really understood because I've always been plus five. Me, always been fat. Yeah, I'm, I'm a real certified big girl. So, yeah, I've always had like that plus five dating experience until, or I've still, I've still had it. But what has sparked this conversation is you know, I posted a video, yeah, when I was speaking about love bombing. I love bombing was something that didn't only just happen to bigger girls no see it happened love bombing what she's describing as love bombing this is what love bombing is love bombing is when you meet a person you're showing them a whole bunch of interest you're showing them a whole bunch of attention maybe you're you're what the women call applying pressure and this only works with guys who the woman is attracted to okay this doesn't work with ugly guys when ugly guys do it they're creeps okay but if you're a guy and you are attractive and a woman you know comes across you, you know y'all come across each other and whatever and you're applying pressure and you like ooh, good morning every day whatever women like that from guys that they really freaking like okay so if she really likes you and you're her ideal type She's going to accept all that simp stuff, and that's what women call love bombing. But the man is only doing that in order to smash. So he's doing all that extra work up front so that he can smash and then see how he feels about you on the back end. But it happened. I don't know how to explain because it's like, love. I've been love bombed a few times, and I know people that have been love bombed, um, and they were bigger girls also. So I kind of just put... I just kind of like just said okay that when guys do that they do it to all these certain type of girls until I was speaking with you guys and you guys were DMing me and I'm just like I don't even know what the general experience of dating is does this make sense like I have only been because I've been pushed into a category yeah that's why that's why I never 
You haven't been pushed into a category. You ate into that category. Act your weight, baby. Like, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. The Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. But you need to hit the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. You need to hit the gym. I'm telling you, I mean, you're going to have a different experience than most women when you are fat. Look at Lizzo. She's paying. She's paying. Okay? Oprah, paying. Paying. Dating. Anytime I'm talking about dating, I always name it as like plus size dating. I never talk about just dating because I just feel like I'm just such a niche that I can't, you know, just put it as dating because my experience is so different from someone that doesn't have weight on them. But when I'm even going through the comments, when I'm speaking to you guys, when you guys have DM'd me like with some scenarios, and even when I'm on TikTok and girls are talking about not accepting the bare minimum, and then the guys are expecting them to pay for things the guys are expecting them to bow him money that's because um a lot of those women are dealing with bum guys who are very attractive which there are a lot of guys like that there are not many guys who really have their stuff together especially in our age group okay so you're gonna have to go and deal with older guys that's why younger women generally deal with older guys when i was in uh, school the elementary school girls was messing with the middle schoolers the middle schoolers was messing with the high schools. The high school girls was messing with dudes in college. So that's just how it goes. I thought that's just things that guys try to do to bigger girls. I don't know if I'm explaining myself right, but when it comes to, I never knew, until I really jumped on TikTok and I spoke to you guys, yeah, I never knew that things that happen to bigger girls, like the guy trying to like live off you, or the guy not really being financially stable, or the guy not really believing in, you know, actually paying for dates and expecting you to even pay for him. Well, um, this is, this is what y'all ask for, equality. See, women love to say, oh, we're equal. We want to have 50-50 relationships, but then you don't want to pay half of the date. <laughs> I mean, they really don't want to pay their half of the date. It is crazy. It's crazy because y'all ask for equality. Now, as a man, me personally, I'm going to pay for that date, but I'm also not taking a woman out on a date who I haven't smashed, okay? So you're not getting no dinner date if we ain't already smashed already. Like, I need to know that you like me before I go and pay for some food. Once I know you like me, okay, cool. You know, I'm, I'm gonna spend that shit, you know what I mean? But I'm not just going out here and, oh, I'm gonna pay for a date and hopefully sh she'll smash. No, I smash and then we going on these dinner dates and whatnot. But if you don't really like me, then you're not gonna smash me and that's that's the reality of the situation and guys have wisened up i'm not saying you got to smash on the first link up i'm not saying all that but what i am saying is this is how the women are showing that they like a guy they're giving it up okay obviously she's not a virgin so most men are not into taking bigger girls on a dinner date so they can run up the tab on food and drinks no or oh, you pay for yourself kind of thing i just felt that because society says that bigger girls are not worthy of love these are the kind of things that you're gonna have to put up with when it comes to dating and that has even made me more stern because if if it's like the sign of if a guy comes to tell me oh no it's you that have the money it's you that have the money bye-bye bye-bye because i you're not going to get a rich man at 250 pounds. You're not going to get a rich man at 250 pounds. And I don't know how tall she is. I don't know how tall she is, but I can see it in her face. It's just too much, okay? You're not going to get a rich man at 250 pounds. I'm sorry, unless you get a big old fat dude, but even a, a fat rich dude is going to have a baddie under his arm, straight up, because he can pay for it. He can pay for it. And she might really like him. Like, a lot of girls accept dad bods. Men don't accept overweight women, okay? Women accept overweight men, but men don't accept overweight women. And that's what it's been like since the beginning of time. So I just suggest, man, you do some work on yourself. What's wrong with doing some work on yourself? She thinks she's a 10. She thinks there's nothing to improve on. Oh, I always been a big girl. We'll change that. 
turn to a smaller girl. I didn't get scared that, oh, is he expecting because I'm big, I'm going to be the one that finances out, oh, God forbid. Nah, I mean, it's and it's not even because she's big. Skinny women, women that are in shape but are like basic, like sixes, they're getting the same treatment. The women who don't pay are the eights, nines, and tens. And, and you know, the, you know, the sevens, respectfully, if we want to go with sevens. But, you know, a lot of people have, um, you know, started using the Kevin Samuels scale. So you can't use seven in his scale because to him it's a cop out. So, um, yeah, a lot of the sixes are paying for their dates, too. So there are women who are willing to finance men and they say, oh, I'm independent and I got my own job and I don't need his money. And if I really like him, which is really m pretty much pimp game, like I'll spend my money on him. But do you got me? But this in general is just kind of like made me see things differently because I've always known there to be a difference in terms of plus five dating and or dating as a big girl and dating as a straight size girl. But I think it's really empirical. She gotta stop saying straight size girl. That's crazy. Straight size girl. Lord have mercy. What have they done? What have we unleashed, y'all? And if you're plus five and you're watching this, it's really empirical to know that, yeah. And I know it's gonna sound weird, but everyone has their own struggles. Do you get know what I mean? Because everyone, fi like, everyone will find their own level. Like, a tall girl that's normal size will also have her own restraints when it comes to dating. A short girl will have a yeah, so, I mean, and, and I get that. A tall woman wants a tall man. But the problem is you have women who are 4'11", 5'2", and, and saying they want a 6'8", man. The, the, the problem with that is that where are, where are all the tall women going to go? The tall women are, I mean, in real life, what I'm seeing, I see women who are uh, taller than their man all the time. And these women are in happy relationships. Cause they get over that and love that man for his personality and, and what he brings to the table because women are willing to mold to a man um depending on his status and, and the where he that man is at in his life okay <clears throat> but from what i'm seeing the tall women are definitely dealing with um men who are shorter than them so all the short girls want really tall men and they don't even think about the tall women. See, that's that's where it's selfishness within the women because y'all all y'all all, all the all the five two girls want tall um, men, but y'all ain't leaving nothing for the five eleven girls, the six foot girls, the six one girls. They need taller men. They need taller men. But all the short girls are with taller men, and taller men really aren't attracted to taller women. Okay. A guy, if a guy is, you know, I've had like, you know, I've been in sports all my life. Most of the dudes who are like 6'8 and whatnot, they deal with girls probably like 5'11 and below. I think once you, and she's got to be like very voluptuous to be at 5'11, not just no like super tall lanky chick. Honestly, that's a reality. I'm just telling you what the guys that you want, want. A restraint. A dark girl have a restraint. A light girl have a restraint. Do you get what I mean? But sometimes it just feels like it's plus size dating, and then it's just versed up the whole world. Does that make sense? And in terms of like, as I said, what we should expect and what we should accept. And I think what really throws me is that when I speak to some people and they speak about their exes and the kind of things that they've experienced and gone through, and I'm thinking, but you're you're straight. You're normal side, like. Why are you accepting that? Like, society doesn't say you need to accept it. Like, you have to send a guy like 50 pounds every week. Are you okay? I don't know. And I think this has really uncovered a, like, I don't know how to explain it, but kind of like something that I've been brainwashed into thinking. And now I'm now that my eyes are open and having these conversations, actually seeing this, is making me realise that I understand that a bigger girl is going to have a different experience. Yes. Wow. At least she came to the honest truth. She came to the conclusion that you are going to be getting garbage in the dating. Like you're going to be getting garbage when, when it comes to dating because 
for one all the hot guys who secretly had that fetish and big girls they're not going to commit to you because that like they want a a fit girl right they want a fit girl but they're willing to smash big girls and then all the bigger guys are going to be like dirty honestly because a lot of bigger guys are definitely dirty i will say that some aren't though some are really hygienic but there are a lot who are very dirty when it comes to dating because one not all guys are interested in dating bigger girls two society makes it seem like if a guy no let me stop her there no, it's not all it's not, oh not all guys no no man wants a bigger girl if he can help it if that's what he has to settle for because a lot of women talk about settling but let's talk about the men who are settling okay because honestly i see sometimes i do see some guys who could do a lot better but they're with bigger girls because they actually love them and usually they're like um very uh you know feminine ish okay but you know they could still do better if they were more masculine and you know looked for a thinner chick a different experience when it comes to dating because one not all guys are interested in dating bigger girls two society makes it seem like if a guy does want to date a bigger girl it's either one or two things she's financing his lifestyle or he has a fetish for girls that are bigger um and like I said, men will smash anything. So it's not that he has a fetish for girls that are bigger necessarily. Now, there are some guys who do, but it's really about he was in a drought and, and he had to, you know, get a big girl because he was in a drought and he had to boost his confidence. Right. So even if a guy, I'm not saying, you know, if you're a man, be a man kind of thing. If you like a girl, go for the girl you want, regardless of what people will say. But because I thought that certain things that happen, that could happen to me because of my size, it can never happen to a girl that is of a smaller size. That's so conditioning to my head. So when girls said, yeah, yeah, I accepted the bare minimum, like he never took me on a date. I thought, what? That never, I thought that. That's because a lot of these modern women the the women that she's talking about a lot of them are like thought apocalypse on on instagram and social media so they're like busting it wide open so those men don't take them seriously because they may look good but they still um to a man they still like are not really valuable and they're they're selling intercourse first online so the man's not going to take them out on a date and plus we're in a new dating um era a lot of men are not willing to you know flip the bill for everything i know we've got a lot of simps out there paying for only fans guys i get that but at the same time the really rich men yeah they might be but regular guys are not really trying to spend money on a girl that they don't know if she likes them or not and a lot of women um have been finessing and guys are waking up point blank guys are waking up so if you can smash the chick why do all this extra stuff and take her out on a dinner date most of these girls are linking up off social media, off dating apps and whatnot. So it's a hookup culture anyway. So you're going to be hooking up. Okay. There is no other expectation than that. It just happened to fat girls. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm making any sense. I'm going to call this a Zoggy Diaries because I'll call my Zoggy Diaries when it's not really structured. But I thought when girls, when girls are telling me, oh, he never took me on a date and we're going out for two years. And I'm like, like, I'm listening to what they're saying, yeah, but I'm just like, oh, I never knew that happened to girls that are, you know, society's um, poster child of... Um, she, she's basically realizing that the same bare minimum, quote-unquote, that she's talking about, she's getting, she's um, also, um, our bad bitches are also experiencing that too. Uh, and what I will say, women just are really bad at choosing men, okay? That's really what it is. Um, I see a lot of bad chicks who are with very bum dudes, okay? Because they like the way that he looks, so it's always a trade-off. If you're a really good-looking man, you can, you don't have to be rich. You don't have to be six figures. If, you, if, like, if you're a six, eight dude with no job, shorty gonna move you in, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now um and i see that all the time so yeah it, it, 
a lot of women are getting that experience because they're not good at choosing the men. They don't vet the men. They don't do background checks on the men. They don't, you know, they might go through his social media, yes, but if he got like six pictures and 500 followers, they actually like a guy who in real life, right? Like if you meet him in real life and y'all exchange, they like a guy who's not really clouded up, but he looks really good, okay? An attractive woman, do you know what I mean? So I'm just like, no, nobody can tell me nothing. No one can tell me nothing. And I feel kind of... No, see, that's, that's the wrong attitude. That's the wrong attitude, and that's where she's going to lose um, in life. Nobody can tell you nothing? No. Everybody knows, and really every man knows, that when you have a guy who's richer than you, you shut the hell up and listen to him when he's talking about money. When you have a guy that's in better shape than you, you shut the hell up and listen to him when it's about aesthetics and, 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 um, and all that. Like, I got a friend, and he's freaking... You know, abs are crazy. And I when he talks about, you know, cutting carbs and, and, and cardio and what he does for his aesthetic, I shut up. I'm like, you know, I don't have anything to say because literally without him flexing, his abs are like bulging out of his stomach. <laughs> it's crazy. And, you know, he's all natural. So when he talks, I'm OK, cool. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. It's you can't have that mindset that nobody can tell you nothing just because you see bad chicks having a quote unquote piss poor dating experience doesn't mean that you and a bad chick is the same are the same. You're not angry. How dare people go out of their way to try and keep telling bigger girls affect the bare minimum, affect a guy that will do nothing for you, affect a guy that don't bath, affect the guy that don't brush his teeth, affect everything. She's telling you what she's been dealing with. Whose fault is that? She's telling you what she's been dealing with. Like I said, you deserve a nigga to look like Biggie Smalls and who bathe. That's that's really it. You can't really ask anything financially out of a man because rich men do not commit to fat women, point blank. Think, yeah, but you know full well that a guy that can do certain things to a plus five woman will still do the same thing to a straight five woman. And for years, I just felt like this, this plus five woman experience of dating is significantly and drastically different from the straight five um, experience of dating. Like no, it is though. It is though. Because um, if she's hot, she's going to get commitment. Like most hot girls are in relationships, point blank. I'm going to tell you that right now. The hottest girls are always in relationships. And I'm talking about naturally hot. I'm not talking about BBL'd up and, and, and boob job and lip injections. Like, I mean, do you know how many girls like I don't approach who were freaking, you know, smoke shows and they're always in relationships? Or maybe they're just telling you that. Who knows? But a lot of times they really are like they'll exchange social media with you and then you'll see oh she got a boyfriend and it looks like she's trying to be faithful like that will never happen to a girl like a guy will always take you on a date because society deems you as socially acceptable so why would he not want to take you on a date like he should be happy to show you off because he don't want to be seen with you men do not want to be seen with big girls in public not knowing if, it, if his mentality of basically not wanting to put the effort, not wanting to actually commit, wanting to just see how much he can take the piss and how far he can go with it. But I just felt that because of what I've been told and even being on the internet, the way that, you know, the reaction videos and, you know, all of the comments that I received, I just started to think over the years that okay this just happens to me because I'm bigger. This is not something that men just do generally to... I mean, like I said, there are a lot of men who are doing things to women, and then there are a lot of women who are doing things to men. Um, and that's the reality of the situation. Uh, I know that she's probably done some men wrong, too. I guarantee it was like a fat nigga who wanted to be her boyfriend and whatnot, and they probably made close to the same money. It was acceptable to be with they could have been in a real 50 50 relationship and she didn't want them because she was fat like she, she gonna sit here and tell me that she's attracted to fat men most fat women want a skinny dude and that's your problem all women this only applies to a subset of women a subset of women but now i know 
Now my I, let somebody come and tell me. Let somebody come and tell me. Oh, you know, um, your bigger soul. Guys are not really as attractive to bigger girls. So the kind of you know guys that you with. Yeah, they'll they'll have intercourse with you, like I said, but they're not going. Like this, she's telling on herself. You're not getting dates, but you're getting sex. And nowadays, like I said, men have woken up. A lot of men have become non-committal. A lot of men have really gone their own way. And people think um, going your own way means that, oh, you ain't getting no pussy and whatnot. No, that it means that you're non-committal. So you're going to go and you might smash a big chick, but you're non-committal. You might be smashing a bad chick, but you're non-committal. Unless she really shows you that um, she deserves that commitment. Steve, you should just accept it. Da, 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 da. What? Someone that is God knows how many kg less than me, yeah, she's been go and this is not shaming or anything. This is literally just like it's annoying when you're receiving all of the things and just people forcing you to accept the bare minimum, just accept anything that is offered to you. And you will never say that to someone that's a smaller size, but those things are got are happening to them regardless. But when it happens to them, you say, Oh, you deserve better, that shouldn't happen to you, da 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 da. But if it was me now, if I now came on the internet, if I now came and I, I don't say that um, a lot of these women get what they deserve because they're overlooking good men for the bad boys. That's really what it is. OK, so you get out what you put in. You want a guy who is um, who looks the you like they want the best guy, which everybody wants the best person. But when you have a good person who, you know, is a good person, you don't want that person. So, I mean, a lot of women are you know making the bed and laying in it came and made a video say oh because i wanted love i decided to you know sponsor his life i decided to send him money <laughs> i decided to you know t say that he can stay with me but you expect men to do that you expect men to do that you expect men to pay for all the dates send you money buy your hair and nails I thought we were equal, dog. I really thought we was equal. Sending money for a car, da, 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 da. You guys will be like, um, um, um. Not, you know, not my people, but some people will be like, um, I can see, yeah, well, you know, it's to be expected. But then there's girls that are doing that, that know nothing to like me. Listen, yeah? This is Vogue Diary, if I can stretch it however I want. All I'm saying is that now I understand a bit more that if a guy wants to he will if a guy does not want to he won't and i'm stuck oh my god that's what you got out of this look i gotta get out of here i gotta get out of here <laughs> um all i'm gonna say is if she lost weight she would definitely have different results maybe you're not gonna get the hottest guy but you're gonna get a guy who is going to commit to you who may not really have that many options okay he may not really have that many options, but at least he's going to be with you, be faithful. I guarantee there's a good guy around the corner for her at all times. As a matter of fact, let's get into the comments. Like there's always like good guys that these women are just passing up. Somebody says, I used to think like this as well, but now I'm realizing it's just the quality of men. First to comment, Gemini gang reporting on duty. If I have to sponsor a man's life just to have love in me, haha, then I'll be alone and that's okay with me. A lot of big girls. This woman says, Zogi, dear, it's a, it's all about a woman's self-esteem. No, it's not. It's about the way that she looks. Um, regardless of her size, age, and other physical characteristics about her, low-grade men can detect women who lack self-esteem and they prey on them. Wow. Why? Do, <laughs> I mean, they're making it the men's fault. It's, it's really crazy out here. But anyways, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. See any relationship questions to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app so I know you're paying your tithes, man. Y'all need to be on your motherfucking team with the BS. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne.
proclaim your throne.